I'm running for a second term on council for a number of reasons. First of all, I, I think that it's a, a very exciting kind of occupation. I love the work. My faith motivates me. I believe I'm my brother's keeper. I want to do unto others as I would have them do unto me. And uh, I think it's very important, I guess, for us to, to think about running for office as, as a way of giving back to the community some of the things that, uh, that we have been given in our, in our community. We, we're blessed by living in a wonderful community. I'm running this term too because I, I feel I have more to give this term. I know more, I've experienced more, and uh, I believe now is the time to give back in a, in a very meaningful kind of way as an experienced counselor. I want to put my knowledge to good use. What do I bring to this council that, uh, or what could I bring to this council that uh, no one else is going to bring? Well, I can bring connections. I've sat on and been a member of 18 boards and committees in our city, and oftentimes in leadership roles. So I believe that I have an understanding of our community and many of its needs, especially those that are related to the social issues in our community. I have also brought a full-time commitment to this job. Uh, I'm a retired person. I've made being an alderman a full-time job and I'd like to carry that on as a counselor. I think the, uh, the commitment to being a full-time member is important and it's something that not everybody else can bring because of occupations that are, are also there and occupying their time. Immediately, of course, flood mitigation comes to mind. But for me, Poverty in our community is the big issue, and it's tied to flood mitigation. Many, many people lost everything that they own in the flood. That's impoverished them. And so I believe that looking at this issue of poverty in our community is important, and there's some statistics that are very important for us to consider. 10% of the, the families living in our city are living below the LICO poverty income level. More, more concerning, 16% of children in this community are living below the LICO poverty level. And that's very, really a concern. There are children who have been going to school hungry in the morning, and we know that they can't learn if they're hungry. So it's important, I guess, for us to take a look at some solutions to our impoverishment and to those people who are affected by poverty. We have the highest number of low-wage earners in the province in Medicine Hat. Why am I excited about economic development? Is it a matter of making the rich richer? Or is it a chance of raising the income level for people who are poor? I, I'm, I'm dedicated to looking at economic development in our community for that one reason. Uh, I'd like to see people who are rich making more money, but I, I need to see people who are poor making more. It's absolutely critical. And we have good examples. We know that it can be done. If we work together as a community to address this problem, we can drag people out of impoverishment and, and move our community forward as a prosperous place for everyone. And I think that's a very critical thing. Hamilton has done it. We, we know that there are good models around for us to do this kind of work. And uh, I guess that's something I would dedicate myself to in this next, uh, next term in office. the most exciting thing that happened to me as a, as a young person was a play I directed in 1964 in my senior year in high school. Uh, I directed and acted in the play. Another resident of Medicine Hat, Burl Keith, was also in that play. And we competed in the One Act Play Festival for high school plays in Saskatchewan in 1964. And I, I guess I'm thrilled to report that uh, Burl won Best Actress Award, and I was fortunate enough to win the Best Actor Award for Saskatchewan in 1964 as a, as a high school actor. And I'm, I'm certain that many of you are out there saying, and you're still a bad actor, Pearson. Uh, I just hope I get a chance to act efficiently and effectively on the next council.